Hey everybody, Chris Farad here. Uh, today I'm going to be playing some Magic the Gathering Arena. This is in open beta right now. And uh, for those that don't know, I used to play Magic the Gathering when I was in high school. I, this is like some of my best gaming memories where my buddies and I would all bring all of our cards together. We would, there was four of us that would always play. And it got sometimes heated, but it was always just like fun. We would play for hours and hours and hours. But since then, I haven't really played. So now that Magic the Gathering Arena is uh, in open beta, I thought this would be a fun thing to try and just get back in there. I'm using the basic decks that they provide. Uh, there's the black decks, green decks, red deck, blue deck, white deck. I haven't gone in and customized. I don't have a lot of cards. You can uh, obviously buy packs and stuff if you want to do that. I actually do have a pack that I can open based on just playing games. Uh, I haven't bought anything. My current record is like two wins, three losses. And uh, it's fun, man. It's really like if you like magic, this is really well done. And it seems like there's a lot of depth there. If you... I don't know how it's going to work if you don't buy card packs and stuff. It probably takes a longer time to earn cards. But, like, there's no rush for me, you know. Um, but well, let's just jump in and play a match. Um, we will go ahead. I'll play with a green deck here. Hopefully I win. And then in another video. In another video, I'll try a different deck. I'll try, like, a red deck or a black deck. I think, if I think back to the, when I used to play, like, with physical cards... I loved playing with with red decks. They were super fun. We had, uh, I remember a ball lightning card. I think it was like three red mana and it was a 6-1 with haste and trample or something. It was really cool. I can't remember if that's exactly the details, but all right. So the other thing is, I don't know how affluent you guys are with magic. Uh, some of you guys are going to know way more, like most of you probably know a lot more than I do. Um, but for those that don't, it's going to be kind of tough to explain as I go because there's a ton of stuff that's happening. If you're interested and you want to know what's going on exactly, then uh, ask some questions below. Or if, if there's like a lot of people that are like, I'd really like to learn about this, I could maybe put together like a super basic tutorial. But I will say that the tutorial in uh, Magic the Gathering Arena is not bad. It's not terrible. Uh, so you could just dive in and, and check it out. It's free to play. So... Okay, we've got uh, a couple for us. We've got some basics that we could use. These are all pretty cheap. Um, yeah, this can work. This can work. All right, so let's just throw down our forest. There's not much else we can do here. These all cost uh, any color plus one green. And it looks like he's probably playing maybe the same type of deck that we are. Might come down to a little bit of uh, luck of the draw scenario. We bring in Druid of the Cowl. We can use this instead of attacking to just add mana so that we can play a bigger card next time. Might play this Rejuvenator, uh, but we're drawing a lot of lands right now. What this would do is when it comes into the battlefield, you look at the top five cards, and we can put a land card uh, if we see one in those top five. Then we put the rest at the bottom of the library in random order. So, All right, this isn't bad. We are out of lands, though. I want to make sure that we get some. We could throw down our Centaur Courser, which could defend or kill this if we have to attack and defend. We also have uh, Titanic Growth, which we could use to maybe swindle this guy into blocking us here. I don't know if he would, and I don't think it's that value add uh, this early. This is We can cast this at any time, being an instant card. So I think we probably want to save this. I'm going to go ahead and... Let's throw down the Rejuvenator. Want to make sure that we get as many lands out there early as possible. There we go. All right. Now we could attack. He could block and it would all be for naught. Nothing would change because it'd be fine. Like nothing will happen. So let's just do nothing. All right. What do you think in there, chap? I like to I like to taunt my guys with like <laughs> or taunt my enemies with non-important spam text that I can use. Bristling boar is pretty good. Can't be blocked by more than one creature, so something we'll have to uh, keep in mind. This is really nice. Enchant creature gets plus seven, plus seven, and trample. So trample the way that that works is if you do enough damage to the creature that's blocking you, the uh, 
leftover damage between your attack and their defense would then get dealt to uh, the player. So, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead. Hmm. We could throw in this guy with Vigilance. Doesn't cause a creature with uh, Vigilance to tap. I... Yeah, it's kind of a tough call. You know what? Let's put this in here. If he attacks with that boar, I can only block it with one. This will be our blocker and hopefully kill it unless he has, like, titanic growth, which is possible. Uh, yeah, so I think... I think for now we'll just be cool. If he doesn't do this, next turn we can kill it with this sorcery uh, where we can target this creature and deal three damage to whatever we want, so... Uh, we are not going to attack. No attackers. All right. Now, you can break this down and ha insert, like, stops wherever you want in the first main of your uh, phase or the second main. You can even do it during your uh, beginning of your turn or end of your turn just to add more places where you can insert cards. Uh, okay, so is he tapping this? That's fine. Or oh, he's bringing this in. Okay. Yeah, this is the one he had in previously. So he's bringing in the Courser as well. Um, I guess we just let it go. I probably should have tapped this to bring in this uh, Sentinel at the beginning. All right. This is not bad. I have six mana to play with if I really want to. Um... I actually think that if I go plus seven, plus seven here, even if he blocked me with everybody, even if he blocked me with everybody, he still wouldn't kill us. That's pretty powerful to throw out there right now. So let's tap this to add another mana. That brings us to six. We'll throw this down here. He doesn't have any, like, any mana left for instance or anything, so I feel pretty safe making this attack. And we'll just keep this Rejuvenator here for a random block. Let's see what he does. He just let it all through. That's, I, that's, I'd probably do the same thing. I'd probably do the same thing. He might come back now and throw everything at us, which is fine. If he does, he's likely to die next turn. Uh, so it's in his best interest not to. We do have this Titanic Growth that could probably surprise him on the next turn. We'll see. We also have Rabid Bite, which can just destroy anything he puts out here right now because of the uh, enchantment that we have on here. So we have a couple of decent options. And I'm not sure. He's probably looking at his cards. If he's not playing something right away, he's got to be concerned. Yeah, he's, he's concerned. But he does have... He has left some mana available for uh, some instants, so... Let's see. I think we Rabid Bite and we go on the Bristling Boar to get rid of him. Then we can attack, see what he does. And we could throw down the uh, Titanic Growth after he blocks. If we want to do it that way. And I think what we'll do, we throw out the uh, Sentinel, so that's four. We use Rabid Bite. We save the two mana left over for the, uh, for the Growth. Let's see what he does here. Even if he wanted to use Titanic Growth here, it wouldn't save him from this damage. It's just way too much. But I have a feeling that he's holding something back. So I'm going to go with just this guy. We have the Trample. I'm going to throw this in. Alright, so here he's going Titanic Growth, as we kind of expected. Now I'm going Titanic Growth, which is just going to offset that completely. And let's see what he does here. Okay, so that's smart of him. So he played, uh, let's see. He played Verdant Rebirth. 
Uh, we Now we have to assign our damage. So when trample happens and we're blocked by a bunch of stuff, uh, we have to decide how much we want to assign to it. We're going to assign just the minimum that we need to kill it, and then the carryover will go to uh, him. But by playing that card, he made it so that when this guy dies, it just comes back to his hand, which is pretty important for him in the situation that he's in right now. But if he doesn't pull out a miracle, he's pretty much toast. Yeah, he just gave up. That was cool. Hey, I'm glad I could show you guys a victory. Feel pretty good about that. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. All right. I'll go in and I'll try another one right away and we'll see how it goes. I've had uh, I've had a few games get really close. I've seen people that have like crazy cool decks. Like, yeah, it's fun. It's, it just reminds me so much of playing the physical version. And uh, if you guys are into this and like, I love magic, but I don't know if, if everyone's going to be so into watching. I hope that you guys are because I will spend serious amounts of time going in here and like customizing decks. I will do it. You know, that's fun for me. Okay, we're gonna change over. We'll try a uh, we'll try a red deck, Dragon's Fire. It's just it's basic. I don't know if you guys want to quickly see what's in there, but uh, I'll show you. So there's a lot of like the red decks are always really fast, right? So a lot of low cost cards for low damage, but you just kind of can spam stuff nonstop. And you can see here this is our deck on the right side. The only non-red card we have is this Meteor Golem. Uh, which lets you destroy something when you put it into play. It's really good because you can destroy pretty much anything. Just a non-land permanent, so creatures, artifacts, uh, anything. Any, pretty much anything you can destroy. And then we have some bigger cost cards for if the game gets a bit later. We're not, like, stuck in the dark. But as you can see, majority of our cards are, um, are pretty low cost, right? So our cost of uh, two is, like, our main but then we also have stuff that can get us into a later game match if uh, if necessary. So let's give it a shot. This will be my first time playing with their basic red deck. I've only just spammed green just to kind of get back into the swing of things. But uh, yeah, I... hey man, I'm a fan. Oh, we got the same icon. Lion versus lion, let's go. No recess. We'll see about that. All right, so uh, what do we got? As long as you control a dragon, this guy has flying. Spit flame deals four damage to target creature. Whenever a dragon enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay one mana. If you do, return sp spit flame from your graveyard to your hand. Okay, so we really need to have dragons. Trample in haste, it's very expensive. Flying in haste, meteor golem. These are all very expensive. The only thing we could play early would be this guy. I'm going to mulligan. We'll only get six cards. There's Shock. Yeah, okay, there we go. Via Shadow, Pyromancer. Deals two damage to target player or Planeswalker. And then we have a Dragon for late. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, now we can put... As part of this, like, scry thing. This is something that I don't know if it even was around when I was playing Magic. But basically, we can say, put this card at the top or the bottom of our uh, library. I'm going to put it at the top. And I think... I think this is something to do with, like... Who goes first? I'm not exactly sure what um, what causes that yet. Okay. So we could just zap that thing if we wanted to. We have a couple of these. Um, I think we will. I don't want to... This, this Llanowar Elves is really nice because it boosts the cards you can play early. It's a bit wasteful because you were using two damage to kill a one health enemy. Okay, so he's got red and green. This could be kind of interesting. He's probably gone, like, uh, low-cost red cards, if I had to guess. And then he's got, like, his big... Like, the green deck has really giant creatures that you can bring out later. Uh, I think we'll just throw in this Pyromancer. Deal two damage to the player as it comes in. I'm okay with this. So this dragon is six, flying in haste. I'm just going to organize this a bit. This is also six, but we're only playing with red cards, so. Uh, these are both the same cost, essentially. This guy, when Burning Sun's avatar enters the battlefield, deals three damage to target opponent or planeswalker, and three damage to up to one creature. That's pretty nice. Okay. So what did he play there? Uh, he just used his shock instant. Okay, fair enough. It's a good play. Oh, 
a bit concerned that he's not playing anything off this yet, but... Let's throw down this mountain, and we'll go uh, Goblin Instigator. And we'll get a 1-1 one, one Red Goblin token. That works for me. Unless he does some weird... Rebuttal here. We'll see. Uh, I don't want to go Shock on him. I think we just, like, play it cool and pray that we start drawing some lands or some low-cost reds, because otherwise it's going to be a problem. Now, sometimes when you see over here, like, I'm clicking attack, these are basically going through the phases um, of your of your hand. So, just because it says attack and I'm not attacking, it's not anything wrong with it. It's just going through phases. We have... Okay, dinosaur spells you cast cost two less. That's a problem. That is a problem. Uh, there's nothing... I, I'm gonna let it resolve. I could deal two damage to it, but like... That doesn't help. Knight of the Stampede. That's cool. I haven't seen this card. There's not, aside from like the super basic cards, I don't see a lot of uh, cards that I remember from back in the day. Okay, as long as you control a dragon, he has flying. Now this is all well and good. The problem is, is that he's going to start casting these dinosaurs. And I don't really have a lot of ways to stop it. And I don't have a dragon either, so. We're going to play it because it's all we have. Uh, if we really need, if he decides to attack with this... We could block with everything, but if he's got that uh, plus two, plus two, or plus four, plus four uh, that we saw in the last game, that could also be a problem. I'm going to hold on to this shock, and uh, we'll see. Uh, no attackers. If he attacks, we could just throw down our goblin to block it. Uh, he'll be tapped, and then we could also get some damage in, but I'm really concerned about our lack of lands being drawn right now. Because he's significantly ahead in that department. Even if we draw lands the next turn, doesn't do anything. The turn after that doesn't do anything. So, yeah, we're in a we're in a bit of a tough spot, actually. Oh, sorry, I, sh I gotta let this resolve. Yep, yep. Go for it. The reason this comes up because it gives us an opportunity if we want to like shock or use our instance. Now he's thinking. So he's looking through it at the top five cards of the library. He's going to figure out... He's going to bring in a land, I'm sure. Yeah, what has he got here? It's a red or a green. And then those cards get shuffled to the bottom, the ones that he didn't pick. So... Now he does technically have enough for that plus four, plus four, if he does it. He's going to lightning strike my dragon rider. Well, that that isn't very nice. I can't do anything to stop it. He should attack with his uh, Knight of the Stampede here. Knowing that even if I put... Like, I have to put one on it so it'll kill something for sure. Let's see what he does. Yeah. And I and I will block it with, um, with this little dude. It'd be nice... Uh, I You know what? I probably should have... Hmm. I probably should have blocked with both, then use the mountain to kill this. That's what I should have done. I didn't do it. <laughs> That's gonna be a problem. Alright. Okay, mountain, I'll take it. <sighs> Damn. Kind of misplayed that one, but that's okay. I could shock to get rid of this, but I'm really not concerned. Um, I'll keep this guy to block if he attacks again. Yeah, that is not good. I don't know if these abilities stack, but if they do, his dinosaurs, whatever those are, are going to be <laughs> super cheap. I imagine that these do stack, too. We just got to hold on here and hope for the best. We need two more mountains back to back and then maybe we can play something here. He can't I don't think he can kill me in the next two turns. Um Now 
This is kind of a tough call, but like... If I block this, yes, I avoid two damage, but it doesn't really do anything for me. And I still lose this creature, so I might as well take one down with me. Okay. Come on, mountains. Let's go, baby. Instigator, okay. This can just fend off some damage. We can use that approach now like we did last time. Uh, he doesn't have any cards, so we got to keep that in mind. If we can just fend this off... We might be okay. So we could double block and shock uh, one of his attacks. We just got to hold out for our bigger mountains. And he's got nothing. He's got all lands right now. So as long as he doesn't have cards, we're looking pretty strong. Okay, so he's attacking with both. Uh, we are going to block with both two blockers. Then we're going to shock this guy. Which means he's down to this one dude. Now, the problem is, is it's kind of coming down to a bit of luck of the draw. If he draws like a giant card, like these, these really hurt us. There's just nothing that we can do. Um, this is a cool one, though. Flying, whenever another non-token dragon enters the battlefield under your control, create a 5-5 red dragon creature token with flying. Whenever a non-token dragon. So this is a dragon. This is a dinosaur. So we'd want to play this first. And then we would want to play this guy so that we get the... Yeah, that's cool. All right, well, here's hoping we draw land one of these days. Okay. I mean, if I was him, I wouldn't have played that card. Only reason being is that he's cycling through a bunch of cards in his deck for um, one land, which he has plenty of. I don't think that's the play. Okay, well, this is five. We just need one mountain, man. Just hit me with one mountain. I'll be a happy boy. There we go. Okay, let's let's go. So, we throw in Demanding Dragon. It's going to deal 5 damage to target opponent unless that player sacrifices a creature. It's got flying, so he can't block this. But I can block either of his. So let's see what he decides to do here. I don't think he's going to... Well, he might sacrifice the Rejuvenator. Let's see. Yeah, okay. I would I'd probably do the same thing. Uh, now. Just more lands. Oh, man. The luck is shifting. It's happening. All right. So now we bring in the Dragon Queen. Whenever another non-token dragon enters the battlefield, create a 5-5 red dragon creature token with flying. That is really good. That is really good. Plus, if we want, we can just make all of our, stro our dragons stronger with mana. So I can block here with the Dragon Queen if he decides to attack. Um, we'll see, because there's two cards I'm thinking of right now that he could use that would hurt us. One is he could use uh, this plus seven, plus seven enchantment with Trample, uh, but we would know about that in advance. And two, he could do that plus four, plus four instant. So I don't know what he's going to go for, uh, but I am going to attack. Come on, play a land card. If he's holding a card, that's when I'm nervous. That's Okay, he's playing his dinosaur. Fair enough. Not concerned about that in the slightest. And now we're going to play this Volcanic Dragon, <laughs> which is going to bring out another dra- Oh yeah, this is, this is getting gnarly. Plus it's got haste, so I can attack right away. And he can't block it. I actually think we just kill him here. Yeah, he can't block any of these. Solid. That was sick. Man, I love magic, you guys. I really love magic. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's fun. That's fun. Okay. Pretty happy with how things have gone for this very first video. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you're interested, uh, let me know below for sure. Uh, I'm probably going to put out a couple of videos anyways just to gather some feedback. 
and uh, this would be something that we can venture into whenever we want because it's super fun for me and um, getting into like deck building and all of that like I love doing that and like theory crafting things yeah I'm into it so I think the next one I'll try is probably I'll try the black deck and uh depending on how long the games are, maybe dive into a blue one. I'll, I'll just try to play them until I win them at least, and then we'll get into like diversifying the decks and customizing them. But if you guys enjoyed it, if you wouldn't mind liking the video, that'd be great. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you soon. Take care, guys. Bye for now.